So the Antichrist cannot be revealed and the tribulation cannot begin and these final wars of prophecy will not be fully released until the power that restrains them is removed. That's good news. Can I hear an amen? amen. And the Bible talks about that restraining power on earth in 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 6 through 8. You know what is holding him back, the Bible said, speaking of the Antichrist. For he can be revealed only when his time comes. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Then the man of lawlessness will be revealed. Paul, writing to that brand new group of Christians in Thessalonica, tells them that these end time events and the revelation of the Antichrist, that one world leader who will cause a one world government with a one world monetary system, a one world religion, and a one world military power to police and enforce the severe and barbaric mandates, the Bible said he cannot be revealed. The final events of the tribulation cannot take place until something that is restraining the evil and the wickedness in this world is removed. Since the restrainer is holding back the promotion of the Antichrist, we know that the restrainer has greater power and greater authority than the Antichrist and the global world order. Since the restrainer steps out of the way, the restrainer has to be removable. Paul wrote to the church at Corinth in 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. And he said, don't you realize that all of you together, speaking to believers, all of you together are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God lives in you. The true church is not a building. The true church is not a denomination. The true church is not a man-made organization. The true church is spirit-filled believers who have put their faith in Christ and are living ready for his soon return. The corporate church is the most prolific force in the world that the Holy Spirit uses, both in word and in deed, we are restraining the full release of wickedness and evil that is in the world. If you think things are bad now, wait until the rapture takes place. Imagine what the world will be like when the Spirit-filled church and all believers are taken from society. I personally believe that will be the final demise of America. Because America with about 330 million or so in its population, conservative numbers, and you'll never hear this on the press, they always try to minimize it, but accurate conservative numbers place born-again Christians in America somewhere conservatively between 60 and 90 million people. That's why politicians always go out of their way to steal your vote. We are a power to be reckoned with. And most churches and most believers have no full biblical, let alone prophetic knowledge that we are the restraining power.